Artificial intelligence. It sounds futuristic, complicated, maybe even a little scary. But here's the truth. AI is already a huge part of your life, and you probably don't even realize it. Every time you unlock your phone with Face ID, when Netflix recommends what to watch next, when you ask Siri or Alexa a question, that's AI in action. But what exactly is AI? How does it work? And what does it mean for the future? In just five minutes, I'll break it all down so you can understand AI without all the confusing tech jargon. So let's get started. AI stands for artificial intelligence, but don't let the name intimidate you. It simply means machines that can learn, think, and make decisions, kind of like a human. Think about how a baby learns. They see, they listen, they imitate. Over time, they recognize patterns. AI works in a similar way. Instead of being programmed with step-by-step -step instructions, AI learns from data to recognize patterns and make predictions. For example, when you type a message and your phone suggests the next word, it's because AI has learned from millions of previous texts and knows what people are likely to say next. Or when Spotify creates a playlist just for you, it's not random. It's AI learning your music taste and predicting what you'll enjoy. AI is everywhere, and it's getting smarter every day. Now how does it all work? AI works by processing huge amounts of data. The more data it has, the better it gets at making decisions. For example, AI can analyze thousands of medical scans and detect diseases even faster than doctors. It can translate languages instantly, or even write entire articles using just a few keywords. At its core, AI works through something called machine learning. Imagine teaching a dog a trick. At first, it doesn't know what to do, but after repeating the action many times and getting rewarded, it learns. AI learns the same way. It takes in huge amounts of data, tries different approaches, and improves over time. The more data it processes, the smarter it gets. That's why AI isn't just one thing. It's constantly evolving and improving faster than ever before. Now, not all AI is the same. There are three main types, and knowing the difference can help you understand what AI can and can't do. The first is narrow AI. This is the AI we use today. It's really good at one specific task, like recognizing faces, recommending products, or answering questions, but it can't think beyond that task. The second type is general AI. This would be an AI that can think, reason, and make decisions just like a human. We're not there yet, but researchers are working on it. And then there's super AI. This is the sci-fi level AI that would be smarter than humans. The kind we see in movies. Right now it's purely theoretical, but some people believe we'll get there one day. For now, all the AI you interact with is narrow AI, helping you shop, stream, and work more efficiently. So where is AI going next? It's already changing medicine, business, and creativity. But what's coming next could be even bigger self-driving cars, AI-powered tutors, fully automated customer service, and even AI-generated movies, art, and music. AI is growing fast, but it also raises big questions. Will AI replace jobs? Will it become too powerful? How do we use it responsibly? The key is balance. AI is a tool. It's up to us how we use it. If we focus on AI that helps rather than replaces, it could make life easier, smarter, and more efficient for everyone. AI is already here, and it's only going to become a bigger part of our daily lives. Whether you realize it or not, you're already using AI every day, and now you understand how it works. So here's a question. What's the coolest way you've seen AI used? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if this video helped you understand AI, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more simple, easy-to-follow tech breakdowns. See you in the next one.